Hey guys, what's hey guys with what's up guys? Hey guys, what's going on? Smart Tech Tom here. Today we're gonna do another unboxing and review. What do we have for today? Today we have the iHome bedside stereo speaker system for the Amazon Echo Dot. That's right. Do you have an Echo Dot? Find that the sound quality is just a little bit under par. Let's see if this will uh if this will do the trick. Stay tuned. <laughs> Right, here we have the iHome docking station and the Echo Dot. We are going to remove the back panel by simply pushing and opening up the back panel. As you can see there is a input for the power adapter and we have a 3.5 millimeter jack that is going to plug into the back of the Echo Dot. Also supplied with the unit is a micro USB to USB cable which we're going to plug into the Echo Dot along with the 3.5 millimeter jack. We're going to slide that the wires in through the hole and put the USB cable into the USB slot. Now here you have the AC adapter port for the power adapter. You have the 3.5 millimeter audio jack that goes into the back of the dot. Here you have the USB to micro USB um, charge cable to charge uh, and to power the Echo Dot. And here, here we have a USB charge device port. So you can plug in a USB cable and the other end to your phone to charge your phone. So if you have this sitting on your nightstand, you have the use of your Echo Dot, you'll have a clock, the clock radio or the clock, and a charging station um, essentially for your phone. So let's go ahead and get it plugged in and check it out. There you have it guys. This is the iHome model IAVS1. One thing I do notice is that it is a fingerprint magnet. I don't know if you can see that. Basically on the back here we have the backup battery compartment. It takes a uh, Phillips screwdriver to remove that. You got not four nice rubber pads down here to prevent any marring or scratching of any uh, furniture. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. Normally when she boots up, she'll give a hello so I didn't hear anything, so I'm kind of curious to whether we have sound or not. So, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 12.23 p.m. All right. So, she's working, coming through the speakers. So we have the uh, clock down here that we need to set. So I held the center button. There's a center button down here that I held, and... We got the plus and minus. Okay, so I see what's going on here. 
So we are currently sitting at about 12.24 p.m. That is correct. All right, push the center button again, and we have the time set. And again, we have the display dimmer as you tap. And let's ch test it with uh, the Amazon Echo or the Amazon Dot. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why shouldn't you tell a secret on a farm? Because the potatoes have eyes, the corn has ears, and the beans stalk. Okay. Alexa, play. Here's a station you might like, Tall Hardcastle, from Amazon Music. Alexa, volume 10. Alexa, volume 5. I have to say my final thoughts are is that it sounds sounds okay. It doesn't have the real deep bass as maybe a, a something that you would uh, pay quite a bit of money for, but for a, a clock, I mean it looks like it was definitely made for the dot. So it actually take a first generation or second generation dot so you can have the first generation with the rotating volume control or the second generation with the uh, toggle switches. You have the built-in digital clock. The sound's okay. It looks pretty decent. Doesn't take up too much real estate, but and it seems to work pretty fine. So there, I think for your nightstand and, and into a, a bedroom or a large master bathroom, I think this would work perfectly fine. So I would encourage you to go ahead and pick one up. If you're interested at all, go ahead and leave a link down below where you can find one of these. And, uh, yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up. So, there you have it, guys. If you like this uh, video, give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click on the notification bell to get all the future upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next time. Peace out.